Hey loves, so it's your girl April and today's video is um, about some makeup. So I did a little shopping um, for Valentine's Day and I went to Ulta and also today I went to the Mac store. To pick so I did get a gift card for Valentine's Day for Ulta so I did go out and splurge and treat myself on some really cool makeup. I don't really go in there too often. Um, I really prefer uh, Sephora more but Ulta has NYX so I do like NYX. So the first things first, um, now I did try out a bunch of new foundations which I like. Um, it was a black opal which was the Kalahari Sand. It was kind of flat. It, it gave my face like this flat look. So I also use the e.l.f. Cream HD Mattifying Foundation, which I do like, um, but it doesn't last throughout the entire day like I would like it to. And besides that, I wanted something different. So I went with this Too Faced, um, Too Faced Born This Way Foundation. Now, first of all, I'm not one to spend 49 bucks on a foundation, but let me tell you something. This is so worth the money. Like, seriously, um, it does have a pump bottle on it, a pump top, which is cool. So I'll use like a pump to a pump and a half, sometimes two, depending on how much layering I want to do. But this is basically medium to full coverage. It is like the best foundation to me by far and I've used many different ones well, this foundation is water-based it's not oil-based which is absolutely like the best for me especially because my skin gets very oily um, throughout the day so water-based foundation is really good for me maybe if that's a lot of the issues with foundation for me because my skin gets really oily a lot of the foundations kind of like slip off after within a few hours if I'm using a different type of primer that's water-based and then I'm using foundation that has oil based in it they don't mix together so when you're putting a facial primer on that's opposite um, ingredients of what your foundation is it kind of like slips off after a while so I try to do water-based foundation and water-based facial primer or I just won't put a facial primer on but this one here is like really a great foundation first of all it lasts for hours and I'll use just one layer and it covers up really well I'm not really trying to cover up anything like as in my freckles I like them I'm just trying to even the skin tone out and the color that I have is in the color honey the Too Faced cocoa powder foundation which is the matte rose petal finish this is just like a facial powder um it is medium to full coverage as well and the color that I have is medium tan I think this was like $36 and it smells so good like it smells just like cocoa it's a really light color it does come with the mirror with the compact you can flip it up and and there goes the sponge but the powder formula is really good I'm not gonna say I would wear it alone unless it's really hot so outside in the summer I don't wear a lot of foundation because it just I just start to sweat or perspire and the foundation is like really no good and, and this is like the color I use in a lot of pressed powders um, even my Milani pressed powder that I love so much and I've been using forever is a medium tan the colors differ just a little bit I think the Milani one is a little bit darker so this is my Milani and they do have a slight different color um, just very slightly this is a little bit more browner um, opposed to this so this might be a little bit too light it all depends on what time of the year that I would actually wear this Too Faced but it does smell just like cocoa I kind of favor the Milani one a little bit better because it better it blends better it just gives me better um, color and coverage opposed to this one here which this is a really great coverage but right now it's a little bit too light for me now on to some more products by Too Faced so I love their palettes I've never gotten I've, I've yet to get the bigger palettes but I do like these ones I just like the small ones I'm not really sure what the issue is but I do like the small ones so this is the natural matte Too Faced natural eyeshadow collection and I've used this one I've had this for like a week and I've used this one like religiously I think my favorite color in this is chocolate cookie and then strapless beautiful colors the color payoff is like so pretty that's what I have on my eyes today is the cocoa um, the chocolate cookie the strapless and sex presso so sex presso I do have in another palette by Too Faced as well but this one here is one of my favorites um I love neutral colors and this ran $36 at Ulta as well 
also the last one on the shelf which is also by Too Faced is the Bodor Eyes and I think that's how you say Bodor Eyes in the soft and sexy eyeshadow collection so what attracted me the most first of all they both come with these little guides of how to put your eyeshadow on I don't really think they're too useful so I don't use them um I'll just like pop them out and there's a mirror but I really don't use the mirror but yeah so these right here I think the one that attracted me the most was the French tickler which is like this really really pretty black and it has like shimmer gold in it this is so this is like a gorgeous color and then also like the um satin sheets which is so pretty it would be like a gorgeous highlight um the other colors are just kind of like basic to me but i really liked like the french tickler the most because of the colors like the iridescent gold in the actual shadow i was looking for like the perfect highlight bronzer and it's sometimes hard for me to find like the best highlight because I don't really want it too pale and then because I'm so light if it's too light you won't be able to really see it so I went for a different bronzer now first of all my eyes are so bad so I actually thought that this was by Revlon and it's called Revolution so it's called Revolution Makeup Revolution London Vivid ba Baked Bronzer Powder this one is called Rock On World this color and it was $10 at um ulta the color of this is like gorgeous i've been using this like religiously every single day it's like this beautiful baked bronze color oh my god it gives you like these beautiful iridescent gold bronze kind of like rose color gold at the same time this is just like a gorgeous bronzer and like i said it was 10 bucks so really really worth it but I did get the Laura Giller baked and brighten blush in the color sunswept now I've used this a couple times I've used this on my eyelids and as well as a highlight this is also a gorgeous color as well it's more or less it has like peach tones in it and like kind of like goldish color sand tones in it really pretty it's a really pretty color for a highlight especially for the daytime or in the summer months to come especially if you like just to wear like a dewy look this one is gorgeous i really can't remember i think this was like 26 dollars or 23 dollars something like that but i have like a lot of laura giller blushes and i do like her blushes a lot they're really pretty and the colors are so pigmented this was like on the way out you know when you're about to pay check out of either Sephora or Ulta, they both do the same daggone thing. They'll have these other little makeup things that you can get which are so small. You'll think, oh, they don't really cost that much. So I've seen this by Tarte, Tarte Lady Tees, um, and I've seen this. It was $21 for this palette. Gorgeous, gorgeous colors. I got it because the Tarte Lady in Bloom palette was out sold out so I was like well I'm just gonna get this because these colors may be a great dupe or substitute for the actual palette that I wanted so I got this and I do like the colors a lot for 21 bucks I would expect a little bit more but it is tart but this is a cute palette the colors are neutral some are a little bit glamorized this is the one that has the most spark machine in it which is crush but other than that this palette this little mini palette is gorgeous like really cute but being that I got this and I was really looking for this, I finally got a hold of this palette. And let me tell you girls, first of all, this palette, I wanted this palette so bad and it was sold out for the longest. I don't like to order stuff online because I'm just afraid of how it's going to come to me. And then I'm going to either have to return it or go to the store or what have you. So I just kept on waiting and waiting and waiting well they never got it in so i ended up going to sephora to get this actual palette um and they had like a mess load of them left so this is the tarta lady uh tarta Elite in bloom i think that's how you say it tarta in bloom and this palette is so neutral and so freaking gorgeous like do you see these colors first of all i love the packaging the palette color is so pretty and this was a 45 dollar palette but the color that I really wanted out of this was called Leader. This palette here comes with 12 colors and they're very rich. Like I said, the color I wanted to use was called Leader, which was this pretty dark brown. And then to me, Activist and Smoke Show kind of look the same. 
they kind of resemble each other. And this is them two right here. And these colors look very, very similar. This is Activist and this is Smoke Show and they look kind of very, very similar. And this is Rebel. And then there's Firecracker and Rocker. Rebel, Firecracker, which is like a bronzy color, and Rocker. Very neutral palettes. And then the rest of these are like basically like great colors that you would go ahead and use like your underbrow area right here. But the packaging is so pretty like gold on the back. Flowers in bloom. I would carry this if um if I was to carry eyeshadow, but I don't really carry eyeshadow. This palette here, which I wanted to try out, it was thirty six bucks. Super pretty pigmented colors. Japanese um, create beauty. This is a pixelated color eyeshadow palette. So pretty. This was at Ulta. Um, I just don't like to go in there sometimes because I just keep swatching everything and then I'll keep washing my hands and then it just it does seem like it keeps to come off correctly. Then it gets on my clothes and I'm like, ah. Eh. So when I took this palette out of the box, it was also wrapped with plastic. But the first thing I noticed was there was bronzy color eyeshadow right here while it was still wrapped in the plastic. So I opened it and this is what I got. So the eyeshadow here broke off in half. So I will be returning this tomorrow. Um, I tried to return it today, but I didn't know Ulta closed at 6 on Sundays. But for 36 bucks, I was not too happy. But I also think, like, maybe it should have came with a nice little mirror like right here, like a lot of the palettes do. I mean, for $36, I would think that the Shadows um, palette would come with that. But the colors are, like, super pixelated, like they would say. They are very pretty colors. Oh my God, these would make like the prettiest makeup looks. Do you see those colors? And they all have like this very, very shimmered metallic look, more or less, like a metallic look. The reason why I don't like to order makeup in the mail because it comes like this. But as you can see, it even comes like this when you purchase them. Yeah. One of my favorite products now is NYX. Um, I love NYX. So I got this from Ulta, and I love this palette. It's $16.99. It's their go-to palette, and it is called Wonderlust. This is the Wonderlust palette. There are two palettes in the collection, and I did do a video for this one here. This is the go-to palette. It comes with everything. You have your contour, your blush, and your highlight and then you have six different shadows right here this is a great contour like I really really like this contour a lot especially because it's powder so I can just go ahead and take one of my big huge fan brushes and just sweep it across it makes it super easy the blush is more or less like a, a coral color very light peachy coral color so it does show up well on my skin as well as the highlight but the colors are very pigmented very pretty colors I'll use it with like an eyeshadow base of course but I do like this palette a lot the next one that they have um carries the same exact um, contour and blush and highlight, but the shadows are a little bit different. It's like a silverish gray, a hunter green, a deeper purple, like a beige or champagne color. And I really can't remember the other one, but in a brown, but, but this is like a really great palette. It's $16.99 at Ulta. Really good palette. This is like the palette that you can just take with you and alleviate like a whole bunch of stuff. I love to get palettes where you can just use everything in it instead of having this. So you have to go through your drawer and get this, or you have to go through your drawer and get that. That's more time consuming, but with palettes like this here, this makes the whole makeup game like super easy. So I do like this one. I also got the NYX Cream Highlight and Contour Palette. I think there's either, there's three colors in this collection. The one that I have is the Medium. And I did use this in a makeup video also. This is the contour, the highlight, and the um, the highlight again, or you know, the contour, the highlight, and the shimmer just to go over. I do like all of them. They all are cream based, but really pretty colors as well as the consistency goes on super easy. So um, this was $11.99. I've used this quite a few times, like two or three times. You have to make sure whatever you're using with this palette, though, like I'll use a beauty blender sponge. You have to make sure that it is damp enough because this stuff is not so soft. You want to warm this up to the touch because it's a little thick. So that's the one thing I don't like about the palette, especially with the contouring portion and the shimmer because you have to make sure that you blend this in really well because it is kind of thick. Now, I did try this out here by NYX, which is their Sculpt and Highlight Brow Contour Pencil. 
I think this was like $10 or something like that. So on one end, it's the pencil, which is in a brown color that I would use. Um, and then on the other side is a beige color, which you would use to highlight under your brows with. So I'm not sure if it comes in different colors um, as a brow color or beige color, but the beige is super too light for me. And the brown is my color. The only thing I don't like about this brown is or this pencil is because with like my Anastasia Dip Brow or my CoverGirl Ink It pencil that I use, those pencils and that, that pomade, they don't move, meaning, you know how you get oily, greasy, and sometimes your brows may slick off even without you removing them or touching them. This is how that pencil is. So it's not really like a, a good quality ink or whatever you want to call it. It's not really good quality because it does wipe off very easy. And I'm not really sure if you want to go outside and your brows come off throughout the day. So I really don't like this. Like I'll use it, but I'll use it along with something else. I'll never use this alone because it's just not the consistency. The longevity of it is not long at all. Now from Sephora, I also got this here, which is the Saint Laurent color corrector. And this is a color corrector pen in burnt green. I did use this. I will tell you this. I do like it. All you have to do is push the bottom. And it's just like a pen. You just want to push the bottom and the corrector will come out. There's three different colors. It's either three or four different colors in the color corrector. But this is by your Saint Laurent. Love this. I tried another green before, which was by um, LA Girl, and it really didn't work out for me. But this one does. Um, so I'll use it, especially if my eyes are light or like reddish color underneath, if I don't get enough sleep. Sometimes I'll just use my yellow corrector by LA Girl, which works. But um, I don't really use this one a lot. I think I've used this once since I've gotten it last week or Valentine's Day, what have you. And I like the consistency of it. It's easy to apply. It doesn't dry out. It does last. It doesn't fall or, or, or seep through your other makeup like the um, LA Girl one does. That's the reason why I didn't like to use that green one. It's because it kind of like goes through the foundation. It's very hard for me to blend it in and cover it up. So I prefer this one here. On to my favorite blush because I went to the MAC store only to get one thing and one thing only which was my favorite blush and this is trace gold and i've been using this blush for years this is like the best highlighting blush or blush nude look this is one of my favorite favorite blushes from mac like by far so i got this super happy about this super duper happy about this this color is like a great color especially if you want to have that bronzy look which i love um i just love this trace coat i am um, this is probably like the third one that i've ever purchased because it's one of my favorites and then i did see this one here and i'm not really sure um i i swatched it a few times but i'm not really sure if i'm how this one is going to work out for me i might end up giving this one to my daughter and this one is film noir a film noir this is a matte blush and it's a brown color i thought this would be great to contour with because it's just like this pretty rich color brown like a reddish color brown but this is like one of the um hair pro long wear blush so this one was a little bit more than trace gold this was Trace Gold was 22 and this was 27 so mm -hmm. but they do have some really pretty colors for the Pro Long Wear Blush. Okay. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and as always make sure you rate, comment, subscribe and all the information will be posted for you girls below and I'll see you in my next video.